Dipper, dipper. Hunter, hunter. What's going on, folks? Thanks for joining me on another episode of Duck Gun Chronicles. Guys, if you're new here, hit that sub button. We got awesome duck hunting content coming at you all season long. Um, but today's video, as you can see, is we're back in a hotel. Last time I said not the normal backdrop, but it's becoming more of a normal backdrop on the Duck Gun Chronicles channel. So, like I said, we are on the day two of the chasing the opener for the central zone, central zone of Michigan. Um, staying at the hotel, guys. I got. I got gear drying out, just strolling along everywhere. Waiters, jagging on the vent. <laughs> Chief. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna get all this stuff packed up. We're gonna get back on the truck, drive out there, get in the boat, get to the spot. Like I said, it's 3.30, do the math. We'll be there before shooting light. That's all that matters. So, anyways, guys, the last thing I want to say before I jump off this is, guys, I've been using Onyx for all this on the public land. You can see the public land the boundaries of all of it um the access the roads all that great stuff on there um the really great thing though for the boat is they have an option for tracking so use the tracking to get through this marsh i mean there's it's really really hard to find your way through a marsh like this at night with no direction at all even if you've seen it in the, the daytime um when we actually went out here for till season with me and kevin's we couldn't get through the way I wanted just because I, I couldn't remember how to do it in the dark. So that tracking option is awesome for marshes like this on the Onyx app. So anyways, that's all we got, guys. Let's go ahead, get everything packed up, and get out to spot. Let's go. What's going on, fellas? Thanks for joining me on another episode of Duck Gun Chronicles. We are out here. We're not dead. And it's been a freaking fiasco. I wish I could have filmed some of it, but we were just trying to get set up before shooting light. So if I would have stopped to film, we wouldn't have made it. We're like 10 minutes out. We broke three props, and Brock's the only one who probably ain't complained once, so. <laughs> He's a freaking trooper. Um, but I was freaking TO'd. When we, when we broke that third prop. What is TO'd? TO'd, ticked off. Oh, okay. <laughs> Never heard that one? I've only heard TO'd. Hmm. Maybe I made it up. So I don't know, but anyways, I mean, Hit us up in the comments. Has anybody heard the term TO? <laughs> Guys, that I'm I was this close to just unbolting that motor and letting it sink to the bottom and walking the rest of the way out of here. <sighs> I'm gonna hear it in the comments again, I know. Um, but if you guys are looking for a mud motor, um, check market <laughs> Facebook marketplace. <laughs> Cause it'll be up there. It'll be up there. I'm fresh with the rebuild. So, anyways, guys, stay tuned. Hopefully we get on some birds. <laughs> Take them. Nice. You got that one, Brock. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. That was a perfect decoy. Did I call it too soon? Um. That first one I think flared. They were gonna come in but if they hadn't we'd have missed it so yeah you the first one right flared and i called it come on Ellie, here come on buddy hold hold here chief right here oh man that would have been nice to let me see what you got over there nice all right so first update we had a flock about five mallards come in they did it just right they did it pretty Decoyed right in. I called the shot when the first one flared, coming right into the decoys. And well, me and Swamp Man just went whiff, whiff, whiff. Yep. Luckily, whiff, uh, whiff, whiff. luckily I had Brock over there to save the day. Shook the skunk. Who knows? That might be the only bird we see, but at least, at least we saw them doing it nice and coming in. So can't say it's a little embarrassing to be honest, but we got birds working. Catch you guys later. 
That one. Right, right here, right here, guys. Shoot him. Shoot them. Mark. Mark. Nope. No, no. Oh, buddy. Okay. See. Come on, Chief. Come on. No way. Stop, Chief. Sit. Chief, Chief, Chief! Come here. Heel, Chief, heel. Sit, sit, sit. Stay. Stay, Chief, stay. Hey! Dead bird, dead bird! Hunt it up! Hunt it up! Hunt chief! Hunt! 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 Good boy, bud! Good boy! Holy cow! Hold him! Hold! 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 Chief! Alrighty fellas, this is the fourth and final prop. Who brings four props with them? I'm like a major prepper or something at this point, I don't know. But we got prop number four. If this one breaks, we're screwed. You know what they say, a bigger prop is worse high end, better high speed. Well, this one's a bigger prop, so that little bit of low end we had is gone. <laughs> oh boy. For sale, right now, for free, free 99. Zach won't even take it for free. Nope. <sighs> Straight right there, right there, right there, right there. Ready? Mark, 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 mark! Get it! He's got to be close to it. Yeah, they just got a whiff too. Oh, you see TV just leaped out of there. Dibber, dibber, dibber. They can smell him. Dibber, dibber, dibber. Do you see him? He just ducked back in there. Let's get over there. I don't think so. Nice. He's still alive. Thank you. Thank you. Well, he tried to send it, but he didn't send it very hard. <laughs> Alright, fellas. Well, we're packing it up. I guess I should the birds again. What we have to show for it today a mallard hen and two wood ducks. A little bit of a disappointment. Actually, I was telling them before I had on this boat this weekend has been a major disappointment the hunting overall has been fun this morning not as planned but i'm glad we were able, we were able to scratch a few out honestly i feel bad because i feel like my setup and we didn't get in there where we should have and you know we've all worked hard this weekend to, to get on some birds so 
but you know that's how it comes as as zach said this march this marsh you didn't say anything about a march <laughs> this march <laughs> this marsh see you with some big news <laughs> <laughs> this marsh is a tough one so it's a rough one but you gotta be tough you gotta be tough yeah that's what he said so i'm trying to stay tough even though i'm freaking to'd <laughs> he's to'd folks <laughs> Alrighty, folks, that's all we got for today. Make sure you hit the sub button so you can see train, train wreck hunts every weekend. <laughs> Until next time, we'll see you. And donate a prodigy boat, please. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fellas, so no joke, we're standing here right after I did the, the outro, and we have this little sucker come right in. We're all standing, literally out in the open. I heard stories all the time about how Pintel are super hard to finish. Well, this one wasn't because we had the boat cover down, standing out, and pop, pop, pop. Chief made a crazy retrieve. I mean, it was all the way across this thing, and uh, the bird was crippled, swam across there. I don't know how he saw or found it, but Chief, you've earned your keep, man. Head cam obviously wasn't on because we were packing up and getting out of here. So one more to add to it. Final tally. So, all right, let's go.